Voting in India's state elections has widened to residents in Goa and Uttarakhand. Assembly elections in both states are being conducted in a single phase. Now, those in Uttar Pradesh are voting alongside them in seven stages until March. And as the state elections progress, political parties are pulling out all the stops to woo women voters. It marks a shift in focus as caste and religion usually dominate. Ishan Gak with this report. Bemile Sharma is one of nearly 85 million women voting in these elections. With no family member currently working, the pandemic years have been hard for the 70-year-old. Political parties, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ruling Bharti Janata Party, are promising a monthly pension of up to 30 US dollars for women over 60 year old in the state of Uttar Pradesh. But neglected as a voter for decades, Bimlesh complains these promises never materialize. <laughs> In nearly all the states holding elections, political parties are promising a range of freebies for women. Here in the state of Uttar Pradesh, a regional player called the Samajwadi Party is promising women free education up to postgraduate level. In the state of Punjab, the ruling party, the Indian National Congress, is promising the elderly women allowance up to $30 and a tablet and a motor scooter for working women. Bimlesh and her neighbours say political parties have always seen women as second-class voters, expecting them to vote for the same candidates as their husbands. But now they sense that things are changing. As projections indicate, women voters will emerge as a key decider in these elections. The BJP's main opposition at the federal level, the Indian National Congress is banking on women to emerge as a distinct voter base. Pankhudi Pathak. The party is fielding women candidates like Pankhudi Pathak for nearly half the seats in Uttar Pradesh. By comparison, women made up only 15% of BJP's candidates running in this state as the polls opened. This is a big uh, experiment that we have done and it's an experiment in the right direction. And uh, I think it was time that uh, apart, from politi uh, apart from the politics of caste and of religion, something uh, new should have been tried in the state and Priyanka ji has done that. Analysts are unsure if specifically targeting female voters will ultimately influence their voting choices. Whether these are developing women voters as a particular category who will go out and vote uh, with their gender identity rather than the identity of their families, their caste groups, that's what is at stake. But the idea of more female representation in politics is already gaining traction among young women voters in Uttar Pradesh. Nithi believes that a female representative will understand women's issues better and will be more effective in ensuring safety in a state where crimes against women are among the highest in the country. For older women like Bimle Sharma, who has been a homemaker most of her life, the rising price of household goods and cooking gas is also a major worry. Many of these voters say they would like viable solutions to the economic problems plaguing Indian women and hope that as women become a more dominant force in electoral politics, these issues will also find a spot on the political agenda. Ishan Garg, CNA, New Delhi.